obtain the mesh file and also the full training movie by purchasing this product. The problem simulates changes in the mass fraction of carbon dioxide on an urban street over time. Urban environments are the most important context of life and in most developing countries the status of air pollution is getting worse day by day. Although technological improvements have played an important role in reducing air pollution emissions. Due to the increasing demand for transportation, it will remain a challenge. Simulation using the species transport solves a transport equation for each component of pollution mixture. The purpose of the analysis is to calculate the amount of carbon dioxide pollution dissipated in an urban zone. To simulate this model, a 10 cm height area should be considered as a source of carbon dioxide pollutants on the street from the urban domain. In fact, the main purpose of the current simulation is to investigate the effect of free airflow on the amount of carbon dioxide produced by car exhaust. Therefore, an integrated carbon dioxide production area is defined as a source of mass production on a city street. The present model is three-dimensional and is drawn using the design modeler software. This model is a set of structural elements consisting of several buildings blocks and streets belonging to a city. The airflow inlet is selected in three lateral sections of this area. There is also a 10 cm high area on one of the city's streets. These figures show the view of the geometry and also the mesh. The meshing is done using ANSYS meshing software. The mesh type is unstructured. Also, the grids are smaller in the areas adjacent to the internal boundaries and have higher accuracy. And the simulation is transient since the goal is to study changes in carbon dioxide concentration over time. The number of volumetric species is equal to 2 that indicate the air and the CO2. So the part air is filled with the mentioned mixture template and as we know there is a CO2 as a source term of the pollution. Urban zone walls are also adiabatic. The max iteration per time step is equal to 10 that shows that in every time step maximum number of 10 iteration will be done. Also in this way we can check the two-dimensional mass fraction of CO2 as a species. Also we can obtain three-dimensional contours just like this way we can see the static temperature contour in the urban zone. Finally, this table is a summary of the steps for defining the problem and its solution as a review. Obtain the mesh file and also the full training movie by purchasing this product. To benefit from Master CFT services including simulation, consultation and training, contact our experts via info at Hope you enjoy!